It's another day and another vegan dish. This time we've got a super zesty, delicious broccoli, lemon and mint salad. This is a belter. All right, start off, I've got some lovely Australian sunflower seeds straight into a pan and we're gonna toast them off, make them nice and golden brown. That toasted sunflower seed is gonna give a nice texture within this salad. So while they're toasting off, let's crack on with the broccoli. And what we wanna do is just cut the broccoli florets off one at a time, nice and neatly, and just work your way around the broccoli. Keep an eye on your sunflower seeds. On the background, in my background, in the background, I've got a pan of water and I'm gonna blanch my broccoli. I don't want the broccoli to be soft at all. I still want a crunch and a bite in the broccoli. Now you can see, cut that all the way around the broccoli florets and I'm left with a little tree top there. I'm just gonna cut that and then I've got this stalk. Now I see so many people throw this in the bin. Stop throwing it in the bin. Get your knife, cut along the edge in and then just peel it back like that and drag it all the way down. And if we do that all the way around, we're gonna be left with the most delicious, crispy, sweet, crunchy broccoli stem. And it doesn't taste bitter and awful at all. Look at that guy. That is delicious. The skin, the worms can have that. Sunflower seeds are getting hot and toasty. There isn't a day goes by where I don't burn some kind of nut. Let's say, for example, you come, you've come across this recipe by accident you're not vegan, feel free to add some guanciale, some speck, bit of cheese. Okay, so you can see those are now nice and golden brown. Next up, Australian pepitas. Now these, when they're toasted, also go beautifully nutty, crunchy, delicious. Same thing, toast them off. You can see the caramelization on them. They're already nice and roasty toasty. I'm gonna bring my water over here. How about that? Good amount of salt, because we want to season the broccoli from the inside. Scoop them up and drop them in. While that broccoli is cooking, I'm gonna get my stalks and I just want to cut them in half. And then I'm just gonna cut it at an angle, nice and easy. All right, broccoli's had one minute. So I want to get it out and straight into iced water. Really important, we wanna reserve the beautiful green color of the broccoli, but also the crunch of lightly blanched broccoli. So as soon as you put it in the ice water, give it a move around with the ice, and that'll make sure that it cools down super quickly. We're just gonna get it out. I'm gonna use a salad spinner. Laws, have you ever used a salad spinner for broccoli before? No, I haven't. Why? Because um, I don't cook broccoli. You don't cook. The reason is I want the most amount of delicious dressing to coat my broccoli. And if there's water in the way, it's just gonna dilute my dressing. And that is gonna make me so upset. So stick in the salad spinner, nice dry broccoli. Into there, we've got our broccoli stalks. Next, I've got some smoked almonds. The smoked almonds, I just wanna Crush them. I'm gonna use the back of a pan. So I want them still to be kind of whole-ish. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a go. Now smoked almonds, delicious flavor. So without having to barbecue or anything or whatever, I can get that kind of smoky flavor in there. Our sunflower seeds, in. Our pepitas, in. Now, smoked salt. Find it at your local supermarket, your daily. Black pepper. Now, salad is ready to go. All we need to do now is make the dressing. This is the zingy, zesty kind of lemon part. Now, for me, jalapeno. You can buy hot sauce jalapeno. There's a million different varieties. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna add a tablespoon-ish. I'm gonna add some lemon zest. So we'll do the zest of probably a whole lemon. I want this to be zingy and zesty. I want people to pay attention when you eat this salad. Okay, a little rolly rolly. A little strain strain. 
Remember, we've added some smoked salt into our salad already. So I want to be careful with the amount of, of salt that I'm, that I'm putting inside this dressing while I make it. And because of that, and because I love it, I'm going to add some white soy as my seasoning for the dressing. And it's going to help pad out the flavor on your palate. Extra virgin olive oil, good glug. We'll give that a little whiskey and we'll have a taste. Loss, how spicy do you want it? You're medium. Woo! Yes, medium. That is delicious. The inside of my cheeks have just went. And then I've got a little bit of spice from the jalapeno. It's not crazy, but it's definitely, I know it's there. The last thing I need is some fresh mint. Now I'm deliberately picking these big leaves because I want to tear it. It's a whole, like that's a lot of mint, right? Just tear it. Now, our dressing. Let's get our hands in there. The smell inside this bowl is insane. It is good. I just let it fall off your fingers. And there you go. A delicious, zingy, zesty, incredible broccoli salad with grains. Fit for a loss. That's it.